Nope, that's not the time. We are in Joseph Steininger's studio and he's taking us for a tour. So what are all these little gadgets? Uh, just little odds and ends I occasionally need. Little Lego And uh, Seinfeld. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Very cool. So I love these water pieces. Thank Can you. Can you tell us about these? Yeah, so these were originally made for uh, my last show at Jay Reinhardt Gallery, but I changed the direction of the show and to more of my typical like buildings. Uh, and so, yeah, they just live on my wall now. Cool. Until someone buys them. There you <laughs> go. And these pieces? Uh, this one's based off of a photo I took in New Orleans uh, with some friends of mine. Uh -huh. um, this middle one is uh, New York City. Uh -huh. And on the bottom here we have Budapest. So the nice thing is I get to kind of travel around and find these interesting uh, picture opportunities to later turn into paintings. Uh-huh, very cool. And some of these? Yeah, we have uh, the old lusty lady downtown. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, so I was driving by one day, dropping off work with the Seattle Art Museum. It very familiar uh, And I saw like the chair set up and like, it was just such a perfect little scene. I actually snapped the picture uh, out my car window as I was driving by. Uh -huh. And the next day I was like, oh, I should make sure I have a really good picture of this. So the next day I, I, I went and walked up there. Um, but by then everything was removed. There was a yeah. fence up. So I got the picture at just the right time. Very cool. Yeah. And then we got the booze up here with, along yeah. with the listy lady. Yep. There we go. Got to keep my... What's the booze uh, for? Uh, for consuming and for, you know, liquoring my friends up when they come for Art Walk. That way they'll buy more art. Yeah this piece uh that was actually part of my portland airport exhibition um mm -hmm. and it's been wrapped up in my stacks for years and i forgot about it um it's and a, then pulled it out because i love this piece it's a great piece thanks yeah. and this one that is also new york city okay cool lots of fire escapes mm -hmm. and i love this wall with yeah, all the empty cans all my empties it just seemed like such a waste to throw them away. Yeah. So what's this piece? This uh, is a old abandoned building in Concrete, Washington. Okay. It's called Cement though because I once accidentally called it Cement Washington, which is not. A <laughs> so the, <laughs> the name of it, Cement. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Just, you know, I love that. For my own absurdity. Mm -hmm. And then this. This is Seattle. This is just a few blocks from my art studio. Okay. Uh, this is New Orleans. I love um, this piece. So if you're Seattle-based, you're not going to recognize these stickers probably, but mm -hmm. for the New Orleans fans out there. There you go. Uh, then this is New York City also. Um, the picture I took uh, that this is based off of was around the Black Lives Matter kind of timing. Mm -hmm. um, and this was in Chinatown. Cool. And then lots of little pieces stacked up over here. Yeah, so those are the rest of the additions of the ones you'll see okay. later on the tour. Cool. And then you have your stencils up, some stencils up on the wall? On yeah, the so that stencil is for the Lusty Lady piece, actually. Oh, okay. Um, cool. And it just helps people to have visual aids when it comes to describing my work. Uh-huh. And then this is the desk where you create all your stencils? Yes, my messy, messy desk. And this is a stencil that you're working on. Yep. So yeah, just small holes in paper. Well, that's very cool. Cut with uh, an X-Acto knife. And then this is all the paints that you use? Yep. And the big note one that the we discussed? The big note we mentioned, yeah. So that was supposed to be an addition of six plus one in a different colorway. But one didn't work out, and so just wrote an op on it, and I actually prefer how it looks now, so I left it up. Uh -huh. What about this piece? Uh, that is based off a photo I took uh, here in Seattle. Um, I was, it's across the street from Crocodile, and I was waiting in line for a show and mm -hmm. snapped the perfect picture. What brand of paint do you use? Uh, it's all the Montana spray paint for the Spanish Montana spray paint, not the German Montana spray paint, which Spanish it's confusing. Montana and German Montana. Yeah. And neither are made in the United States. No. Or Montana. Or Montana. <laughs> gotcha. And it's on, they only 
got away with it because back when these companies were started, international trademark laws were really fuzzy. Oh, okay. And so it's it's a confusing affair. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Is it acrylic? Uh, no. Okay. In your pole? Yep. Priming pole? Yep, exactly. In this piece? That is New York City. Okay. And these are some of the more affordable ones? Yeah, tiny little guys. They're small. They're yeah. $200 a piece, is that correct? Yep. I love these. Where's this one? Uh, New York City. Okay. Seattle. And I have a big one of that. Yeah. That's a little bit Portland. Big. This is Portland? Yep. And what about this one? This one's That's also small, New but York, it's but small, it's small. yeah. That one's three twenty-five. And this one, it's all wrapped up. All wrapped up. And this is the one that we have in our bedroom. And you did two of these in this color and two yeah. in another. Yeah, two in like a pink and blue. Okay. And do you have any of those available still? Uh, yeah, at J. Reinhardt Gallery, they have one of the pink and blue ones still. Cool. And then I love this size. Same. This is kind of, I've been doing a lot in this size because they are like still relatively, relatively affordable. Um, people will typically have enough space on their walls for these. I love this um, one so much. Yeah, same. And these are six fifty a piece. Yep. I love the colors in that one too. Yeah, I haven't done those colors before, so it was kind of a crapshoot, and just hoping that it would turn out. You don't see a lot of purple in my work. Yeah. <coughs> I love this too. I love Thank all you. the. Negative so much space. negative space. Do you not see a lot in my work since I like to be so meticulous with tiny details? It is very unique. I love that. And that is obviously Seattle. Yes. And this piece. This was part of my last show at J. Reinhardt Gallery and can be purchased through her. Cool. Where is that one? Uh, New York City. Cool. It usually takes people a second to find the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle in it. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Yeah. <laughs> or, oh, up at the top. <coughs> And even Judith uh, at the gallery, it took her, I think, a week or two to find the little Buddha head. I've got some glare going on. Yeah. So. There's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and the Buddha head. Let me see. Oh, right there. <coughs> Very cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. This was great. It was awesome. Thanks for tuning in.